The rallying cry of Black Lives Matter is being heard around the world. The killings of Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery and George Floyd in the US have been the catalysts for the changing moment we're in. They're among countless black people who have died because of police brutality and racism in the US. But those deaths may be revolutionary. Here are three ways the world will be different from now on. In some cities, lawmakers have gone to historic lengths towards police reform. Two weeks after George Floyd's killing, a majority of Minneapolis City Council members promised to defund the city's police department. In New York, Mayor Bill de Blasio pledged to move police funding to youth and social services. Democrats in the US Congress drafted the Justice and Policing Act 2020, the reform bill that would end racial profiling and protections for police officers from lawsuits. We cannot settle for anything less than transformative structural change, which is why the Justice in Policing Act will remove barriers of prosecuting police misconduct and covering damages by addressing the quality immunity doctrine. Across the US, statues of white slave owners and Confederate generals have been toppled by protesters or removed by local and state governments. Those actions have inspired similar moves in other countries. In Brussels, a statue of King Leopold II, who was responsible for the killings of millions of Congolese when they were under his absolute rule, was also removed. And in the UK, London's mayor has promised a review of street names and statues associated with slavery and the country's imperial past. This assessment is being made after a statue of 17th century slave owner Edward Colston in Bristol was pulled down and pushed into the harbour. Though the movement to remove these statues didn't start with recent protests, they've reinvigorated conversations about how racism shows itself in other public spaces, including our streets. In the coming days and weeks, more statues are likely to fall. Major companies have also expressed solidarity with the protest movement. Some have promised more diversity and inclusivity in their workforces. I'm saying this as a father who needs to be able to answer his black daughter when she asks, what did you do? So, I have resigned as a member of the Reddit board. Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian stepped down from the company's board and asked to be replaced by an African-American. Apple has pledged millions of dollars to support organizations fighting racial inequality. And Nike has put out a film urging people to fight racism. Other companies have rebranded. Quaker Oats, which owns breakfast and syrup company Auntie Jemima, announced plans to update the name and design. It says the 130-year-old Aunt Jemima brand is based on a racial stereotype. But there's concern that these proposed changes might be just for show. Systemic racism is entrenched in every single level of society, and it would take a lot more work and change to dismantle it. Save 